All right. Next up, we have Raekwon Smith. Now, there's a reason why we're doing this. Now, he has a record-setting number of NIL deals. And before we get to that, we're going to get to, you know, him first. So, he, so he's originally from Richard, Virginia. He played. He he not only plays running back for Norfolk State. He also on the track team. So in high school, uh, he he's a two time state champion in the uh, fifty five meters. Um, he won four he, he won four state championships in football as a running back. So um, and then he on, he's also on the track team for Norfolk State as well. And I think. 2020 to 2021 this past year uh he had he he placed top 10 in all of the throwing events so he, he placed eighth in the javelin and the discus and he placed ninth in the hammer and the shot put so yeah this dude is an absolute athlete dog this dude has 66 NIL deals. How do you, how do you come up, yo? How do you come up with that number? Like, so, yo, somebody gotta tell me how are you able to stay active on social media, play two sports, go to school full time, and have the time to work out for not only football but for track too, and be able to manage. 66 NIL deals. That's absolutely crazy. And he's frat too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, you know, Blue Fire, whatever. But we are about to watch his highlights. Then we are about to watch his interview as to how he did it. Like, I don't, I don't, that, that number sound ridiculous. 66 NIL deals. How do you do that? Like, how, how do you do that? That's, that's, that sounds nuts. So we finna watch his highlights, man. Yo, this dude's an athlete. And then the fact that he he is a uh, is a short distance runner in high school, and he comes to a Division One school and does all throwing. He does all throwing events and places top ten in all of them. That's that's crazy. Oh, come here. Like that? Yeah, that's. Right, this dude's an athlete, man. I don't even know how. I don't even know. I don't even know how you manage the amount of things that you have, bro. Like, who's your manager? Matter of fact, let me get one of them nil deals you got. That's that's what I want to know. I want to find out how you got all them. Bro. Six, fam, sixty-six nil deals, fam. Who's your manager? And can I be your manager? Oh. Fam, I need a, I need a fight, yo. Dog, I grew up in the wrong era, bro. Man, who come here? Hmm. Oh yeah, come here. Oh yeah, Reed, come on. Who come on? Y'all yeah, get off me. Oh man. Yeah, this is. Oh, it's, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I that. Yeah, we definitely need to find out what. Hmm. Now I think this is before JJ Davis gets there. Cause, ooh, cause he didn't play much last year. I think he only played in four games last year. Mm. Mm. But yeah, but he's a he's a track star, and he plays football. And you had time to man. You had time to manage sixty six nil deals. We gotta find out. Oh, come here. Mm, run him over. Just run him over. Mm. So this is the, um, I guess him, uh, discussing how he got there. So let's, let's get started. Everyone hoping to see her in the individual events. The floodgates of name, image, and likeness were swung wide open last month due to a change in NCAA policy. And this is from last year. And now we're all truly witnessing the next evolution of college athletics. Raekwon Smith at Norfolk State is admittedly one of the biggest and most outgoing personalities on the Spartans football team, and he's using his platforms to grow his brand in the changing amateur athletics landscape. Coming out of Highland Springs High School near Richmond two years ago, 
Raekwon Smith used social media to just have fun while sharing his outgoing personality. Ooh, come on. I'm a big social media guy. I like to be active with my followers. I like to do things. I like to be funny. But everything changed last month when the NCAA dropped its restrictions oh. prohibiting athletes to profit off their name, image, and likeness. But when it came out, I just said, well, I'm, I've been doing this, so might as well get paid for it doing it now. When you look at it from an athletic standpoint, uh, where would you be without the student athletes that make up the different programs? That, and that's, and that's a fact. something that I've always said. I always said I think they deserve more. This is a way for them to receive more. And for Smith, he's fully embracing the opportunity for more. Since going viral in 2019, he's built up 78,000 followers combined on his Instagram and TikTok accounts. Because mm. of that exposure, he's now signed with NIL representation and has partnerships with okay. six different companies. He receives free products and promotes Yo. those products on his respective platforms. It don't matter how big the brand is, how small the brand is. If it fits me, I'm going to pick with it, I'm going to go with it, and hopefully it be a long-term deal and um, go with it a long way. And Smith says while he continues to grow, Damn. it's all part of his bigger picture to help others like him as well. My biggest main goal is to help every HBCU athlete get on some type of deal, sponsorship, because I feel like we're not as big as the Power 5 school, so I just try to make, make an example that we can get deals no matter what school you at. He has yeah. the right intentions. I don't think he's a guy that's trying to do anything outside of the lines. I think he has a has a great heart, a uh, big personality, like you said. He, he's always smiling, always happy. <laughs> he's doing his little TikTok deals involving his teammates. Um, and, and that's something that I think I embrace. Uh, I like a guy that's outgoing, that's, a guy that has that's dope, a sense though. of humor. That's dope. That's dope. A sense of humor indeed. Raekwon tells me he's hopeful once the season begins, him and the Spartans will receive even more attention and more companies will be interested in working with himself and his teammates. Big South Media Day was this. Fam. 66. That is insane. But, yo, I, bro. Go, Mob, bro. And shout out to you, dog. Yo, you. Bro, you are a living legend right now. That, yo, that's legendary. I'm not going to lie to you. That, yo, that is absolutely legendary. I don't know how you did it. But we know how you did it, man. Social media, dog. And I'm telling y'all, look, yo. This is how, this is how every HBCU school needs to operate. Everybody needs to be on social media. Not necessarily TikTok or whatever. You don't have to do that. But you have to be active on social media now. Like, we're living in that era. We're living in an era where, yeah, people want, like, if it's not on social media, it don't happen. Like, that's the era that we're living in. So, yeah, man, you definitely have to put yourself out there in order for people to see what you're doing and know what you're doing. You know, and, and look, and Offscript said it best. He said it best. Like, the, everybody sees, you know, Coach Prime, you know, on social media, and they think because... If they if they do it too, they think that they're gonna be copying him, or they think that they're gonna try and get on his level. When nah, bro, if you see it working, if you see something working, bro, you have to go out and you gotta do that. You have to do the same thing, bro. You have to find yourself to get on. Like you have to find a way to get yourself on, bro. You have to. Like he, like people, like people want to see. What y'all are doing? People want to know what y'all are doing, and if they don't see, if they don't see what y'all are doing, what do you? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you're gonna have to put yourself out there a little bit more, bro, in order to get what you want, in order for people to see what you want, in order for you to attract the fans that you want, in order for you to attract the fan base that you want. Yeah, you gotta put yourself out there, dog. You have to, cause ain't nobody. I'm telling you. Bro, this, bro, this social media game, bro, you got to know how to work it, dog. You got to know how to work it, man. So, yeah, so I, pfft, man, yo, shout out to Raquan, bro. My goodness, that's, that's insane.